So I finished, I only did the distal buckle and the power little. And when I got to here, uh, the only time I can get all the way to the, ape, the radiographic apex is mm -hmm. when I use the 10 file. Okay, you can see it going through. Okay. But then when I try, but anything, any key files or rotary beyond that, uh, I can't get all the way through. My first guess is if I either maybe have possibly may have ledged it. Well, it's awfully nice. I'm not having any problem. I can see if I turn your teardrop that way, it doesn't want to go. But if I go back this way, it. Okay, there might be a little ledge, huh? We were in the what? DB Powell. 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 Okay. Yeah, the biggest one. Okay, so there's a little bit more curve. Well, your your uh, protocol for rotary would be a 15. So let's get a 15 in here. Because really, if there's a little ding in the wall or something, let's just get that out and transition it to maybe a smoother canal where we can consider. Perfect. Okay. So just have to see. So. Go taper. Yeah. Purple. Okay. So we'll just put a little curve on this. Is that that one light that's so hot over here? Oh no, it's his. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I do need to curve it. But. Well, here, let's let's go real quick. 15, hand me a, is this a 15? Here's a 15. I'll just use mine. Keep yours in that. I don't mean, when I say 50, I just mean white. Oh, oh. white. I'm just trying to walk this through because you might have a little shelf, but the point is we can probably buff it out if, unless it's, it's pretty severe. So I can just spin this. Okay. okay, next. Where is it? Takes a little bit more. There must be like a little bump in the wall that's preventing the instrument from wanting to travel. So I'll just exaggerate our curve. Seems to be just fine when we curve it more. There it is. So now watch, I'm not gonna rotate it, I'm just gonna rock it a little bit. And I'm gonna use this like a hand file and just see if I can smooth it and buff it out. Can I have a red one? Philly? It's starting to feel like it might even... Yeah, it's, a little, it's still hanging up right. I can feel... Now it's feeling... See, I, what I do is I slide down this wall like this. Uh -huh. Then I try it like that. Good. Then I try it like that and it hangs up. Uh -huh. So I know over on the... mesial side, yep. there's like a little bump but I'm getting it to where now that's less and less and I'm almost ready to fit a cone do we have any alcohol sweetie okay that'll be perfect and that's going to be okay too I think there it is See it? Yeah. So let's work it like a file.
I do need to do this every now and then just to make sure I don't get it. Exactly. It wouldn't be a block at this point. You set it perfect. It'd be like I'd get a, a or I'd get a, I'd get a block because of the mud. But that's now if I turn it this way. So let's turn it different ways. Watch the unidirectional stop. Mm -hmm. So good, 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 good. Maybe not. Yeah, your your ledge is on the outer wall. So. What we could do now, yeah, uh, I have to be careful not to go mesial. Well, we'll just, make it stiff, stiffer. it's much, much stiffer. might have cut off too much okay so back to mr. red and we'll just put a little bit more bend So maybe we should go back to the yellow. Must still have a, okay, there it is. Sometimes you'd want to, you'd be better off to over curve than to under curve because the canal will straighten it out if it's over curved. This doesn't want to just walk right in, but. I don't know where we are, but we're pretty damn close. I doesn't want to go. So it's back to the yellow. So I guess we have a little shelf there on that outer wall of the curve and it's hanging this thing up. So Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now. I think I just simply cut too much of it off. Uh, really overcurve that. Feel how that's kind of um, frenzy. Yeah. Yeah. I can feel that. Two, three, four, five. Now feel it. Oh wow! See? Yeah. So that's what we do sometimes when we're trying to slide cones to length. I'm still hanging up. So let me see why. Back 
Well, I am surprised that isn't sliding the link. It's so close. You can see the you orange. Catch. Well, I think we're there now. I think we finally made it, but let me just... See, there it is? Yeah, there it is. So, this isn't straightforward, and that's not what you came to learn, but you can see that's how you do it clinically. I mean, sometimes you can, in my retreatment work, I distinguish between a, a type one ledge and a type two. A type one is a small bump, and with a little bit of expansion of the taper, you can buff it out and it's gone. Then it behaves like a regular old clean shape pack. If it's a bigger movement internally and it's a type two, then to get the ledge out, you'd probably mutilate the root. So you're gonna have a, a residual edge. So we have a residual edge, right. but we still have to be able to pack. Right. So the biggest problem is the cone hitting the ledge and rolling over. Mm -hmm. So now you've learned that we could, if we know what our last file was to length. See, yeah. you, you know that this is bigger than your file, so that's a good thing, isn't it? Yes. So then you can begin to ask yourself, well, then, if I can put this in a little curve, a little generic curve, dip it in the alcohol, it's gonna be rigid. And when I get up to that level, I just have to make sure if my ledge is sitting out here, I have to make sure I'm kicking past it. Mm -hmm. Well, if, you, if we would have spent more time, we could have defined exactly which wall it was on. So then I could have grabbed this cone and we would have notched it. on the side for two reasons. Not only would we notch the cone for length, but you'd be notching the cone so you would have orientation. The curve is oriented with the notch. So then when you put this in, if the ledge was on the palatal wall, you would actually probably put this in by hand and make sure that this is headed buckle when you get down deep so you'll go past the ledge which is on the palatal side. So that's kind of how I'm thinking, and I know that's kind of tricky. Uh, what I'd like you to do is go shape some more cows. Yeah. And, you know, and have, and, and get some experiences that you really like. Yeah. Because this one is no problem, and the tooth is fine. It's just a little bit more complicated. Right at the apex. <laughs> but at least you saw what yeah, we, we right did, right. and you actually could do this yourself. This isn't, it's just you'd have to have a little bit of patience, wouldn't you? No, in a case like this, uh, gutta core, I mean, you know, this may pose as a, quite a challenge for a gutta core, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think it would. I mean, we if we want to make the framing bigger, that's another option. Just get see if we could get the whole damn ledge out. Right. And I don't think we're going to do it with rotary, so we'd have to do it by hand. So we just curve this. I never did get this easily traveling to length. And if this doesn't want to go, then it'd be better to drop back to what did go. Yellow. Yellow went. That's a 2007. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we'll even take the yellow long. Why? Because there's more taper up in here. Mm -hmm. And if you get this out a little bit, the red's having trouble, but the yellow's not. So if I can get this past and I can carry it a millimeter long, I'm cutting more up in here where the ledge is. And that would reduce it, wouldn't it? Something like making it mid-size. See, and there it is. Yeah. So if I turn this, though, with a curved file, I'm going to whip the frame and rip it, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So I really, that's why you see me d doing this. It's just a linear thing. Right. In, out, in, out, in, out. Two, three, four. It will. It, it will now. Okay. Now, this might scare you, but it's really doing nothing more than opening up and making the foramen bigger than this instrument's geometries would imply, mm -hmm. just to have a better chance at getting to a cone that can perhaps go, go around the curve. I don't like any of these cones, so we're gonna start with another cone. I could have tried red, and if we were not in a hurry, we'd just do that. I saw some people, but they, they pre-curve it, and then they put it in the motor and work with it. What's that? I saw people doing it 
pre-curving, passing the ledge, and put it in the motor. I've heard of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know how. It's a little Because tricky. it's going to be like arc. Yeah. I don't subscribe to that, but yeah. certainly I'm aware of it. You have to make sure you're inside the roof for sure. Otherwise... <laughs> Even, I guess, it's going to be an arc. So you're long, but what I want you to check... So let me give you that little notch trick. So what I'd like you to do is notch the cone, not only at the right length, but on the buckle side. Okay? So now this is not only the length of the canal, but it tells you the orientation of the cone. So that means in the heat of the battle, I'm going to pick up sealer. I'm going to put it in here like this, and I'm going to slide it right like that. And I want you, sir, to feel the tug back. And you'll say, pretty nice. Okay. So it needs to be trimmed a little bit. If you dried the canal, you'd see your paper point clinically would spot a little bit because we actually are a little bit long. Take off about a millimeter. And you'd, you'd pack that, and you'd never know there was a complication or anything. It'd work. Yeah, and this is uh, one of those cases where, in the office, I would go with the got to pressure cone rather than got to focus with the. Uh, I think so. You might strip off. Yeah. Yeah. Really denude it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Sam. Well, thank you. Good. Thank you.